Hey guys, in this video I want to explain to you a few things about liquids, so about how to add lava and water to your map for example. So we are going to start off with opening Radiant and load up the map we've made in the last video. Um, if you don't have the map you can download it from the, vid from the video description and also from the forum post. And once you've got it, open it up, uh, opened up using the file menu and the open function, uh, be sure to save the map to a new file. So to go to file again and click save as, and save it as ep6.map or any other name you like. Alright, so once you've done that, um, we are going to make some space for our new water pool and also for our new lava pool. So to do this, um, take the floor plate of our rocket launcher room and scale it a bit. So you got a bit of space on this side here. Um, and we want two pools. So what we're going to do is separate those two pools by making new a new brush, corking it using the cork button and applying the, door, uh, the floor texture to it by middle mouse button clicking on our floor brush and holding down shift and pressing middle mouse button to paste the, paste the texture information on our new brush. So now we make the floor plate for our two pools. So make a new brush and move it down so it does not overlap um, with the other brushes. And if you like, you can give this um, a new texture, so select it using shift and control and left mouse button and press T to bring up the texture browser and give it any texture you like. And as you see now, there are still some gaps here. So what we're going to do in this case is just um, take our walls and enlarge them a bit so they close up, close off um, the map from the void. So take the, door br uh, take the wall brushes and drag them down so they seal up our new pools from the void. And the last thing to do is um, cover those newly visible surfaces with the wall texture. So middle mouse button on the wall and shift and middle mouse button to paste the wall texture on those cork surfaces. So that's it already for our pools and now we're gonna add liquids to those pools. So for the for the left side here I'm gonna go for water and to do this make a new brush inside here, scale it a bit so it fits into the pool and then go to the textures menu because we are going to need a new shader for our water volume. So go ahead and select the common category containing all of our technical shaders which are important for liquids in general um, and press T to bring up the texture browser and what we need now for water is the water cork texture so as you can tell from the name um, this has a similar function as cork um, being that surfaces that are not actually you know visible from above, in this case, um, don't get rendered. Um, but the only difference compared to cork is that this um, gives the volume and encloses um, water properties, meaning that this brush, if we compile the map now, won't be solid, but it, but it can swim in it, so it is like water, but it won't actually see a water surface. Um, and to do this, select the top surface of the water volume, Go to the textures menu um, and choose the liquids category. And as you can see now, there are a bunch of liquid textures here. Um, those are only for visual purposes mainly. Um, so I'm going to go for clear calm one, and this will be the shader for our water surface. Um, pay attention to using a shader and not just an image so you know the water is actually moving and not solid 
Um, yeah, and we've discussed this in the earlier tutorial, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, once you've done that, deselect everything, and that's it already for our water surface uh, or water volume. And pretty much the same procedure applies to making lava. So make new brush in the outer pool. Um, go to the textures menu, select common. But this time we don't need water cork. We actually need lava cork. Simply because they are two different treated as two different kinds of volumes by the game. So go ahead and cover the whole brush with lava cork and select the top surface. Um, choose the liquids category in the textures menu and give it any you know any um, shader that you like. I'm going to lava I'm going for lava hell one thousand. In this case one thousand um you know stands for the value of the light intensity this lava is going to emit. So you will see it in game this lava will emit light and the one thousand is simply, you know, displaying the intensity of the light this one emits. So yeah, go ahead and save the map and compile it using the test compile string. And when you're done, um, launch Wolfcam and load up the map using the console entering map EP6 or whatever you've called your map so I'm just going to enable my HUD and as you can see now here's our water and you can swim in it just fine and here is our lava and you see obviously it will kill me so swimming inside the lava is probably not such a good idea right um, yeah, and that's it pretty much already for um, creating lava and water um, yeah it was pretty simple right so I wish you the best of luck with creating your own um, liquid volumes and in the next time, uh, video I am probably going to discuss making angled walls using the clipper tool. So until then, 